What's happening, friends? Don here once again with TroTech, wishing you a very happy Canada Day. Today, we've got a really cool application for you. We wanna show you how to do some decorative flags. We've done one that's a little bit more of a rustic look. We've got one that's a little bit more polished. I'm really excited for you to check it out. Let's get into it. We began by placing a sheet of our TroTech birch veneer into our speedy laser to engrave. We've run the job while slightly out of focus to try and ensure the darkest possible result without burning or scorching the surface. Once the engraving is completed, we work to complement the rough and rustic nature of our design by giving the piece a thorough wash with wood stain, saturating the surface as much as possible. This was then allowed to set before we removed any excess with a paper towel. As you can see, the wood stain is unable to penetrate the weird coating of our untreated sections while being heavily absorbed into the engravings, adding a fantastic contrast to the finished piece. And now, Let's take a look at our second design. For this more detailed application, we subdivided our design file into blocks of equal proportion. We then used these measurements to create slabs of our 5mm Trotex solid woods, in this case a mix of maple and cherry, which we pre-cut in advance. We then give each slab a color wash. Using a mix of 50% latex paint and 50% water, we coated the surface of each piece with a thin layer of color, spreading it as evenly as possible before wiping away the excess with a paper towel. This technique gives a subtle hint of color to each piece, while still allowing the grain of our solid wood to shine through. If you'd like to try this out for yourself, remember, you can always perform a second coat if you'd like a richer color, but once it's dry, you cannot remove color you've already applied. As our color wash slabs finished drying, we began applying them to a full sheet of 3mm PET acrylic, which we used as a backing board to help support and stabilize our final piece. We added 3M to one side, removed the protective covering, and affixed each of our slabs side by side paying attention to the measurements and placements of each color as outlined in our original design file. Once the installation of our white background was complete, we added 3M adhesive to the back of our dried red slabs in bunches to allow for easier installation and laser processing. We placed batches of three slabs held together with our adhesive into our Trotex Speedy laser as a set. We then cut our maple leaf from two of these batches, or six slabs in total. Here again, we paid close attention to the measurements specified in our original design. Finally, we removed the backing from our adhesive and added the red stripes and maple leaf to our white background. As each slab was of identical size, placement was very easy. We simply overlaid each piece directly on top of its white counterpart and anchored the placement of our maple leaf around the exact center of our flag. We then completed our design with a thin coating of wood varnish, which gives the final piece a beautiful shiny luster and will protect it against the elements if you'd like to place it outdoors. This type of application is fantastic for interior decorators, signage shops, and anyone with a knack for woodworking or crafting work. Color wash signs like these are fun to make and sell for a premium in online marketplaces like Etsy or Facebook. Thank you so much as always for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next week. We've got some really cool stuff on the way really soon, so I hope you'll stay tuned.